Welcome to the latest podcast of FJP Investment. Today we're going to look at the UK property investment hotspots for 2017. Buy to let investors ready yourself for a busy and prosperous year. Although Brexit apprehension lingers, there are still a number of places throughout the UK that are set to provide positive returns. On a national scale, house prices are expected to soften by 1% next year, although they are predicted to rise by 2% in 2018. However, looking on a micro level, there are a number of emerging markets that are expected to experience stronger price growth in the coming years, making 2017 a great year to get a foot on the ladder to experience maximum returns. So what makes an area a great investment market? Ideally, you want to search for areas in which demand outstrips the supply, a factor that has strongly contributed to London's astronomic house prices growth in recent years. If investing in London is beyond your means, looking in in areas that have quick transit links into the capital can help you find more affordable and still profitable property. Markets experiencing regeneration or in which there is considerable investment to develop the area also make for great hotspots. Here are just a few of the markets tipped to be big performance in the coming years and are therefore worthy of closer investigation in 2017. First on the list is Brentwood, Essex. Already an established rental market, Brentwood is set to benefit from the establishment of the Crosswell station that is scheduled to open in Shenfield, which is located just a five minute drive away. Due to open in 2018, this station will allow connectivity into London in just 40 minutes, leading some market experts to predict the prices of nearby properties will rise by 10 to 15 percent. Number two is Nine Elms. Located on the South Bank, this regeneration project will bring in 20,000 new homes to the market, in addition to creating 25,000 new jobs. Schools and recreation space are also under construction, which will endear many people to move into this central location, especially thanks to the decommissioning of the Battersea Power Station and the arrival of not one but two new tube stops. It is thought that between 2011 and 2016, prices will have grown a whopping 144%, with further growth expected as renters seek out addresses in this previously unloved part of central London. Number three, Woking in Surrey. Again, Woking is another spot on the receiving end of a £250 million regeneration project. The town centre is expected to receive 600 new homes, the construction of which will create around 2,000 new jobs and the addition of commercial space as well will make this area popular with commuters, with service from Woking Station to London's Waterloo taking just 26 minutes. Number 4. Elephant and Castle, London. This part of the capital is set to receive 2,500 new homes, a new university campus and a leisure centre as part of a £1.5 billion regeneration project. The arrival of a landmark skyscraper called One the Elephant is also set to improve the image of this formerly industrial part of Zone 1. A local property expert revealed that flats currently return a gross annual yield of around 5%, a figure that will surely rise as the area continues to regenerate. Number 6. Withenshaw, Manchester. In May 2009, it was agreed that £1.5 billion would be spent on new transport schemes including two new lines across southern Manchester and an extension of the Metrolink tram service. One of the areas to benefit from this increased connectivity is Withenshaw, a residential part of southern Manchester. Locally, there's entertainment in the 109-acre Withenshaw Park, making this an attractive area for families. 
Number seven is Eastside Birmingham. The Eastside district of Birmingham city centre is currently experiencing a huge regeneration with six billion pounds redevelopment project currently underway. This will create around 12,000 new jobs, which is something that will in turn boost the demand for nearby housing. This is a part of the city that is really set to develop positively too, and that's thanks to the arrival of HS2, which will provide high-speed access into London. And finally, number eight is Petersfield, East Hampshire. The longest underland road tunnel in the UK, the Hindhead Tunnel, cut the commute time to London in half when it opened in 2011. As a result, many people move to this market town to escape the busyness of the city and yet still enjoy easy access. Prices in East Hampshire rose by 32% between 2005 and 2015 and even the council bought into income generating properties at this time. The East Hampshire District Council bought five properties in Petersfield which returned an estimated £759,000 in rent annually. To find out more about UK property investing, please visit our website www.fjpinvestment.co.uk.